In this segment of the video book, we'd like to talk a little bit about the differences in implants. There are today approved by the FDA in the United States round implants, which are either smooth or with textured surfaces, and cohesive gel shaped teardrop implants which are shaped in the manner of a breast being smaller at the top and fuller at the bottom. I'm going to take a minute to describe what I think are the pros and cons of each of these implants and why I choose to use what I do most frequently. First is the smooth implant. A smooth round implant has the ability to feel the most natural in a woman's breast and to move in the pocket which is created during the surgical procedure so that when a woman moves, her breasts move. Naturally, women's breasts move and are soft. An implant which is stationary on the chest and does not move freely within the pocket cannot produce as natural a breast as an implant which can move in the pocket. Further, a round implant when standing up always produces a teardrop shape simply because of gravity. And it produces that teardrop shape no matter which way it is turned. Textured surface implants were created to decrease, possibly, the rate of capsular contracture which can occur with breast augmentation surgery. This has actually been found not to be the case. However, some surgeons still like to use textured surface implants because they are less mobile in the pocket than smooth implants. A textured surface implant to me has a firmer feel and is less natural than a round smooth implant. And for this reason, I no longer use textured surface implants. The second type of implant that we should discuss a bit are shaped implants. Several years ago, shaped implants were produced in silicone, whereas shaped saline implants have been produced for nearly two decades now. These shaped implants are always textured to help prevent the implant from flipping upside down and distorting the way the breast looks. The pocket which needs to be created with a shaped implant must be tight to hold the shape implant in position. You can imagine that if you produced a tight pocket so that the implant will not turn around in the pocket, then the implant and the pocket will not be freely mobile and your breast will not be as soft and natural as a natural breast would be. The consistency of silicone in a shaped implant is much firmer than the consistency of the silicone in a round, smooth implant because the shape has to be formed stable in that it has the, the, the material of the, the silicone material in itself has to be firm enough to hold the shape of the implant without distortion. Shaped implants, I think, have an important role in breast reconstruction surgery where there is very little breast tissue and we are using implants or some sort of skin grafting to produce the skin envelope of a breast 
without any native breast tissue or natural shaping of the breast itself. Invariably, using a round, smooth implant, which is freely movable in the pocket, gives a, the most natural looking and feeling breast that can be created today with breast augmentation surgery.